Welcome to Bears in Excel. Today is April 29th, and we're going to do a button up of the charts that we've been doing this last week. And we're going to cover AGQ, CNO, GE, LVS, MGM, and WIN. And starting off with AGQ Silver, uh, they've been talking about uh, in the news about uh, the run of silver is over, and uh, you know, get out, sell your silver. And they've done this a few times uh, very recently. Um, today it hit again, and we have this red bar, um, which I'm sure you know shook some people out. And uh, maybe it's time to be shooken out, but uh, the chart isn't saying that yet. Um, you'll notice that the shortest term moving average still does not have a down tick. It is still pointing up. So. Um, yeah, there's a uh, fat expansion right here. Is this attempting to fix that? Maybe. Um, it is uh, far away from the uh, upper Bollinger Band now, which is a good thing. Uh, gives it some room. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to see what it does. The uh, stochastic and the RSI are very high. Uh, the MACD and the histogram are very high. Um, so. Could we have uh, uh, some weakness here? Absolutely. Um, could it go up from here? Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, so in part, I would uh, I would read this as still being uh, benefit of the doubt to the bulls by a very wide margin. Um, you know, the dollar is uh, only going down. Uh, if it does get a bounce here or there then uh, precious metals will have a blip or two to the downside but um, you have to ask yourself is the dollar going to have a sustained rally in uh, the near or foreseeable future um, that would be kind of hard to swallow right now I guess anything is possible but as long as they're printing money uh, definitely um, odds are not good for the dollar making a strong comeback and uh, and you know beating up all the other currencies so the chart's still pointing up uh, so my opinion is still pointing up on silver and uh, on the 60 minute you can see that we do have uh, some compression and rollover as people get out long-term moving averages are still strong and all the secondaries have plenty of room to go in either direction that they want and 30 minute more of the same actually gets into the bar we do have a crossover uh, and a starting of expansion in the short term moving averages so if they decided to put the herd on the bar since they are entering the bar or doing the crossover completely before entering the bar uh, we could expect it to test right here which is about uh, 352 and that's for an unsuccessful test of the bar. The bar is very strong and should contain damage rather well. So there it is. And on the 15 minute you can see it was actually not all the way crossed over when it entered the bar. The bar is compressing but um, a typically uh, you want to see a complete crossover completely happen before entering the bar for it to truly put the herd on the bar. If this goes down much more, the bar should suck it back in, uh, notwithstanding some kind of crazy news that, uh, you know, that they're able to turn lead into silver. That's just my opinion. And CNO, very, very nice day for CNO. Um, we said the other day that uh, it, the mark to beat was was uh, 805. It beat that by one penny today. We may have some uh, excessive expansion in a few of the shortest term moving averages. Um, the secondaries still have room to move. Everything is pointed up. It looks very nice. And the monkey wrench in the works is that they are reporting earnings on Monday. So, they've already pre-announced, and uh, the pre-announcement was good, it was very positive. Uh, does that mean that the bar has been raised and they have uh, a worse number to beat? 
um, very possibly. So now if they disappoint, uh, this could drop pretty nasty, um, in which case you'd be looking at a test down here at the uh, 750 area. So we shall see Monday, and if they uh, are received positively, then uh, you know this thing uh, could easily uh, just uh, run really, really well. It's been undervalued for years now. So we will have to see. GE, we said that this one had to move sideways or have a down tick because it was just too close to that upper Bollinger Band, and sure enough, it did have a down tick. Uh, it was a little bit more than I was uh, hoping for. Um, we did have a down tick on the shortest term moving average. It is very, very, very minor. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a down tick. And uh, there at the end of the day, I was hoping that it would be a side tick. But just like this day when it uh, reported, we have craziness on the volume again. You'll see that uh, we have green bar here and red bar here. That doesn't jive, so going into the 60 minute, you can see that we have green pretty much all uh, all the way across, and it is going down. So to take a closer look and figure out what all this means, uh, 30 minute, green, and it goes green all the way until over here. Then it turns red. Well, that doesn't... Uh, that doesn't work out too well either. So here we go, 15 minutes. We'll take a better look at the volume. Started outside the upper Bollinger Band, therefore it should go down, and it did, and it jives red. Out, still outside the upper Bollinger Band, should be red, it's red. Then, this is a very deep green, this one right here. We have green all the way from here to this bar right here. Notice it goes down the whole day on green volume. So we have this little uh, line that they drew in the sand. It was broken. Everyone freaks out and actually does sell. It turns red. turns bright red. And just as it turns bright red and everyone's getting out as fast as you know they can for the volume that it has today, it turns green. And the selling increased. Bright red. Higher volume and it goes up. Once again we have shenanigans on GE. Lovely. LVS, very nice, very bullish. Continuation of the cross on the long-term moving averages. It still does not have full extension of the moving averages. We do want to see that in the coming days to confirm that this is going much higher. But everything is pointed up uh, it has room to move between itself and the top Bollinger Band. Everything looks very nice here. Secondaries are very high, but uh, as always, it can stay there for an extended period of time. And I'm just going to zoom in. Uh, notice that this one did not go to sleep today like everything else did. It just kept on, kept on going up. Very, very, very strong. And MGM, we noticed uh, or noted yesterday that uh, it looked bad. And, uh, yep, it still looks bad. Uh, we do have an indecision candle here, but everything is pointing down, and we have further expansion of the short term moving averages. We do have potential uh, extreme extension on the short term moving averages here, so an uptick to fix it uh, would be normal but we do not have an uptick on the shortest term moving average so we do not have a clear sign that it's time for that to fix right now and it was essentially flatlined all day long people are wondering where is the bottom and uh, and are waiting understandably Oops. and when last one Wind looks very nice. Did get the uptick again. Uh, wind is massively bullish. It has fixed its extreme extension. And is uh, once this shortest term moving average goes a little bit higher, uh, we will have very uniform lines. Very, very nice. And the secondaries are all pretty high, which is normal. 
and we'll see that just like LVS shot up and uh, and that was it for the day. Oh, they did have a dump near the end of the day. Uh, notice that this is near the top of of uh, a possible range for win, which does explain this little, you know, I'm going to cash out before the weekend. Um, you know, 147 is very high for this stock, and uh, that is going to make people jittery. That's why the other day I said that LVS was uh, more bullish than win, uh, even though win is uh, probably a, a better company. Because if we go way back in time to 2007, we'll see that the top of this possible range is 176, which for win is not that far away. Can it get to 176? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, 176. Oops. Can it get to 176 before the rally ends? Depends on how long the rally goes. So if it goes all the way through the end of June, then uh, absolutely that's possible, especially with uh, the long term and the short term moving averages looking the way that they are, very, very strong. And, uh, and wins results continue to impress. Um, certainly they could uh, make a run at that. Would I give it much uh, uh, area beyond that? Uh, no, I would not. Absolutely not. As always, this uh, video is for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. All investing decisions are your own. Please stop by Bears in Exile, check out the forum, sign up, see our articles, our links, our news, and have a very nice weekend. Thank you very much.